Hi everybody and uh, welcome to another video diary. It's a long time since I've done one of these so today basically I'm going to update you on what's been going on in my life and I think the last time you guys saw me I was wearing a particular t-shirt in order to help raise awareness and funds for the Ashes campaign and I actually have footage from the last day that I wore that because that was the day I went to the Five Lamps film night in Derby. Hello everybody, we're here at Quad on Five Lamps night and this is the last day I'm wearing this damn t-shirt. We're about to show the Ashes trailer at Five Lamps as well as a talk from Neil Oseman for Stop Eject and we've got a bucket, a funding bucket, also lights up. Yeah, the funding campaign is online for less than two hours so if anyone wants to donate they still can. And Thank that you. went down pretty well. But since then, the Ashes crowdfunder campaign came to an end and I made a decision to lower the total to the minimum that we needed to get the film going to make sure we at least had that and we got that, thank you everybody. It meant that um, one of the first things that had to go was my ideal location, which we couldn't then afford, but thanks to the donations that everyone made, we were able to buy all the props that we needed and get a lot of food in as well and I started looking for another free location. Around that time a few other things happened. The Ashes trailers had over a thousand views on YouTube which is amazing and the costume advert was finished and is now online and most importantly with a big thanks to Tom and Chris Wadlow for helping make this happen, I'm finally on IMDb! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I went on IMDb I went pro and that meant I could use that to try and track down a slightly more high profile actor for a stop object and we got one I'm happy to say we got Georgina Sherrington most famously known for being the star of The Worst Witch. And we were all kind of bowled over by her not just as a good actor but also as a genuinely lovely person and I'm not gonna lie there were times on set when my inner child would speak up and think oh my god that's Mildred Hubble in my film <laughs> in order to get everything ready I had a big list of things to do not only making lots of these but also remaking things from last year that didn't quite turn out well like the gravestone one day I hope to have a studio and an art department to make things for me as it is right now I have to make my own gravestones in my toilet. Also single-handedly building my first set from scratch, but Stop a Jack was one of those films that felt really, really special when you we were doing it. And from what I've seen online, all the crew seem to be really missing each other, which I take as a sign that this could be something quite good. So I'm looking forward to seeing the trailer and seeing how it turns out, but when we were packing away Stop a Jack, I had a phone call and the location for Ashes dropped out on us a day before we were supposed to start filming, leaving us no time to get another one. And um, I know there's lots of really bad things in the world out there which are much bigger than film, but if anyone's ever lost a film that you were really looking forward to do, it feels a hell of a lot like having it heartbroken. And, um, if it weren't for all the letters and emails from the cast and crew saying how much they still wanted to do it and how much they believed in the project, then I think I might have chucked the towel in there, there to be honest. But uh, they still believe in it, and I still believe in it. So I, I still think Ashes is going to go ahead. I'm just not really sure where to go right now. But I think... I think that um, it makes a lot of sense to have money to pay for places because then they don't drop out as easily, you know, and um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go and visit the Ashes cast and see if we can get the ball rolling again and spend some time with them developing their characters while we're waiting to get more support and I'm going to search around and see if I can get the word for Ashes out there more and get some money back into the pot again and also need to finish Jar of Angels before the rain dance deadlines run out. So yeah, that's my plan for now and I think you're pretty much up to date. Keep an eye out for the Stop Eject trailer when it appears. And uh, yeah, so if you've got any more questions for me, send them in. I promise to answer them on the next diary. Alright, see you guys soon. Bye!